What's up guys and welcome back to the vlog. It has been a long time. Uh, it feels uncomfortable to me. I don't know if it feels uncomfortable to you. I really hope not, but I'm sure it does. We are here with the new 2021 Broncos with the Sasquatch package in, well, I think we're in American Fort Canyon. We're just getting some photos and videos today of the Bronco. So far, I really like it. It's pretty loud with this roof on it and it goes into like this stage one mode where it just goes from here to like here and folds back and then it's just sitting up like that which looks like a convertible top that hasn't gone all the way up which is kind of weird and i don't like it uh, it looks like a toupee first off this is a lot bigger than a wrangler i can tell you that right now i think i like the two doors better they look a little bit better but this still looks really good um unfortunately this is a big bend so the grill is not painted i've seen one with the black grill and it looks amazing but it still looks really really good this one's got the sasquatch package so it has the 35s and the beadlock wheels which is good because if it had the 33s on a four-door it would look silly i think the 33s kind of look silly in general on a bronco even if it is the two-door but so far i really like the 2021 bronco it's a lot of fun it actually this one has the 2.7 liter EcoBoost, and it has plenty of power for what it is i can't wait for the the raptor or whatever ford decides to call it but so far this one itself is amazing we're gonna get another one we're gonna get a two-door four-cylinder manual which will be fun but for now this is what we have so let me show you So I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite things really fast. I love the way it looks, the way it rides. It is so smooth and quiet compared to like a Wrangler or anything else that's off-road dedicated. If I had a hard top, I think it would be better. This soft top is uh, pretty loud. But compared to a Wrangler with a soft top, it is not that bad. My cousin who was in this yesterday, he was talking about how he drove a Mini Cooper convertible across the country, and it was way louder than this. I also like how it has lane keep assist. Usually I don't like that kind of stuff, but in a big car like this that kind of wanders a little bit, it's nice. Also, the other thing is, is that this system, I don't know what they did compared to other Ford products, but this system is way better than uh, other, other Ford products that I've tried. This 2.7 V6 twin turbo EcoBoost is amazing. In this car, I think it fits perfectly. It's got plenty of power. I can't wait for the Raptor or whatever they're gonna call it. I cannot wait for that because this car feels like it has plenty of power. It is great to drive, um, a lot of fun, especially for off-roading stuff. Now to name a few things I don't like, there's two things that I really don't like. It is noisy with the roof and that weird whistle noise, which I, they will be getting rid of. Uh, with a new seal on the hood is what Ford is working on right now. The overall noise, which is fine because this is an off-road vehicle, they're, they're noisy, that's normal. Another thing I don't really like about it is the audio system is awful. Now I know it's kind of hard to do an audio system that sounds great in an off-road vehicle with the doors that come off. There are no speakers in this door. There's a speaker up here, there's speakers down, I think, below the dash because I can feel something in my toes when I'm listening to music. To name another thing I do like, these heated seats, it's uh, raining really good now. These heated seats work so well. Some of the best heated seats I've ever, I've ever used. They're amazing. Like one is like perfect and it heats up really fast. Another thing that I really like is the animations. The animations are really cool. It kind of shows you what mode you're in in the top there. Um, and then turns all the dials a different color. Ford have really worked out their technology. It's really fast, really smooth. I just think it's a really good looking system. I like these rubber buttons as well. I know they're a little different, um, but I like the rubber buttons. They feel nice and they're easy to use. Okay, so just to sum up really fast, another thing I really like is I really love these LEDs. I love this front end. I've seen the grill that they're black with the honeycomb instead of the big slats. I don't really have a preference either way between the big slats and the honeycomb but I do like the black grill more, which you could easily just paint this one black. Most of this stuff seems like it comes off super easy if you look around it. Another thing I did notice is that the tires like to kick stuff up and hit these fenders. Now, I don't know if they're gonna get damaged over time or what, because they seem pretty durable, but that does make me a little nervous because I know the Raptors on the bed where they stick out get pretty damaged and beat up when you take them on dirt trails and stuff. Other than that, I love this thing. I love that the bolts are hanging out. I love that the mirrors stick out like Shrek ears. I love this thing. I'm hoping that at some point soon I could drive a two-door with the 2.7 because the two-door we're getting as the demo 
is the 2.3, and I really want one. But uh, yeah. All right guys, so that was my time with the Bronco. I dropped off the Bronco a couple days ago, but right now I have a Porsche Cayenne and I've actually been thinking about getting one of these this generation. So you guys let me know what you think about these. I've been thinking about getting a Cayenne Turbo as maybe as like a single car, I don't know. But this is the car I'm driving for the next couple days and I'm thinking about getting one of those. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments of this generation of Cayenne. This is a base V6. It's a platinum edition, which I honestly don't even know what that means, but I I really like it other than the lack of power. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye. Vance, track off. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're here with the 2021 Ford Bronco.